Welcome back to our cybersecurity stories series. Today's theme is multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, adds a second verification on top of your password, like a one-time code or biometric scan. But MFA isn't foolproof. Codes sent by text or email can be intercepted. Push notification prompts can be accidentally approved in a rush. There is also a newer phenomenon of passkeys. Passkeys replace passwords entirely with a cryptographic key stored in your device. Passkeys are verified with your face, fingerprint, or device PIN, which can limit the ways a cyber criminal can attempt to interfere mid-authentication. Now that you're armed with the basics, let's look at multi-factor authentication in action with a real story submitted by one of our users. I received a call from a colleague who needed help recovering her hacked Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook accounts. Somebody texted her on WhatsApp and tricked her into sharing her 2FA code, giving the hacker access to her Gmail, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. They immediately changed the authentication phone number to the hacker's cell phone. There wasn't much I could do to help except reach out to each social media platform support team who helped reset the account by verifying identity through a live photo, previous password, and previous phone number. In about two days, her accounts were recovered. What a great friend. MFA or 2FA codes are often targeted by cyber criminals. As more people and organizations adopt this extra layer of security, it's important to remember to never share MFA codes. No legitimate support rep should ask you unsolicited for your MFA code. Our next story from Sean highlights a common tactic used by cyber criminals, MFA fatigue attacks. After completing many of the training videos around cybersecurity, I realized my personal bank accounts were trying to be hacked with the MFA fatigue technique. I was getting multiple requests from my bank and thought it was just my QuickBooks trying to gain access to my accounts. It was not, it was hackers. Once I changed my passwords, as the training suggested, it resolved this issue immediately. I can confidently say that without the online security training, I would have never realized what was happening. Great going, Sean. If you find yourself receiving multiple verification codes which you did not request, do not approve them. Instead, follow Sean's lead and change your password so the cyber criminal can no longer trigger the authentication request. Another potential solution is switching to an authenticator app or biometric authentication instead of text or email verification codes. When it comes to passwords, pass keys, and MFA, stay alert, trust your instincts, and protect your authentication, just like you would the keys to your house.